first of all, during the COVID times, a lot of people maybe uh, weren't working as much or weren't working at all. So they picked up jobs um, delivering for food service, uh, typically Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, whatever it may be. Here's the issue. Your car is not typically, unless you have a commercial policy, is not designed for commercial. Therefore, when you are taking money for driving your car, that's what you're deemed it to be is driving for commercial. So a lot of companies these days are going to have a, either they're going to have some sort of ride share um, endorsement on your policy because let's say you're not doing it full time. You're just doing it maybe a couple hours a night or you're doing it on the weekend in order to support the family. And we understand that greatly. But when you are putting your car more at play and you are driving it for elite uh, living, then you are putting it more at risk, therefore causing more opportunities for accidents in that nature. So I've seen a few uh, cases, uh, especially during this last six months, uh, where somebody did not have the ride share endorsement, they got into an accident, they talked to a claims representative, and all of a sudden now their whole insurance is canceled and non-renewed, or we're, they won't pay for a claim uh, because they did not make their insurance company agent or whoever aware that they were driving for that company. Same thing if we build something or we add something to the house, we upgrade a kitchen. I mean, I'd hate to be $30,000 light on the brand new kitchen that you installed because you didn't make me aware of it. Um, so I couldn't upgrade the kitchen for you um, into coverages. Same thing if we add a pool. Um, a lot of people down here, guess what? It gets hot as heck every summer and people add pools all the time, yet they don't make anybody aware of it. So whether you're with myself or you're with another agent or whoever, if we have any changes, we need to make sure, especially if we add a youthful driver. I've seen this one come up before. Once a driver's licensed, even if they're not driving a lot, they still need to be added. If they're not, they're not covered. We do not track your children's ages. The insurance companies do not do that. You are responsible to make sure you make us aware that you have another driver in the household. I understand that it, sometimes it can be like, oh my gosh, I feel like I gotta notify the world that this happened. But we're not the world, we are the, pre we are the people and the company that does protect you. Uh, so we wanna make sure that you are properly protected. It's not that we're trying to get every last dollar out of you, that's not the point. We just wanna make sure you have the coverage in case the worst happens. Nothing worse than getting into an accident and getting told that you're not gonna have any coverage at all in your brand new you know, car that's a couple months old um, and you're not covered at all because A, you didn't tell us that you were driving for DoorDash or Uber Eats, um, you know, delivering, trying to make a few extra bucks for the family, or the fact that you, know, you had a 16 year old get their license and you forgot to mention it for a month. And then all of a sudden they go out and they get into that accident. So we'd hate for anything like that to happen. We just wanna make sure that you are properly covered uh, to make sure you have, you know, keep and maintain the nice things that you do have.